Okay, well, welcome to this video. Oh boy, did I choose a hard one. I, I guess, I thought it would look pretty cool, but it's uh, very complicated as far as this part, the roof system, even for a little chicken coop. So I, today I'm not going, I don't know if I'll get much built because there's so much planning in all of this roof part. I wanted to make sure I got it, got it all right so that I cut my plywood in particular, cut it the, um, maximize the plywood sheet to get as much out of it as I can. So this one, this monitor barn style chicken coop is going to be four feet wide, It'll be six feet deep. I've already done a whole bunch of calculations over here on the table and I'll show you what I did. But I just want to run through these numbers. The, so the posts, 4x4s, four will be 18 inches high off the ground. The sidewalls will be 28 inches. That way the plywood that I cut from here I can use on the roof with very little waste. I also did not draw this correctly. It seems like most monitor style barns are split into thirds. So that this upper part is a third a third and a third. So this is actually going to be a little bit wider than what I've drawn. You'll, you'll see that over there in just a second. So there'll be uh, a door here. I'll, I'll make something attractive so that it opens. E I don't know if I'll do a double door. That seems like a lot for a little chicken coop. I may make it look like a double door so that it's on hinges and opens out. On the side, there'll be nesting boxes where the wall opens out and, and you can access for eggs. Inside there will be a, a roost or two, probably two. Also in the upper part there will be rafters coming across every two feet so that they could nest up in there on a, maybe on a cooler day because this is all, all four sides up top is going to be polycarbonate. I had some left over so I'm going to utilize that but it will let a lot of light in. The ridge will be vented so the air can flow up through and then I'll do some venting. I haven't figured that out yet. Somewhere down low so that there's a good flow up through. Let's go look and uh, I'm going to do a, a, a kind of a blow by blow. There are so many pieces. I don't know if I've said that. So many pieces involved up here. It's very complicated for me. For some of you folks, it's probably a walk in the park. Oh, a walk in the park. <laughs> it's too cold for that. Okay, so let's go over here and take a look. I'll start with basically a sheet of plywood bare, and I'll lay uh, piece by piece each section till it's all put together as a, as a mock-up so that I know all my pieces to cut that will save a whole bunch of time down the road. So let's go over here. Uh, believe it or not, all, all of these parts are specific to the roof system for the monitor barn style chicken coop. So I'm going to show you now just where each piece goes and kind of try to identify what they do and put it all together. So we'll basically be starting with a top plate on the stud that goes down to the floor. The subfascia will be nailed over the half inch wall sheathing. The pine, this is a, just a short piece, will be nailed into the subfascia so that it's flush going up through there. These bottom rafters, these, these will be two by four. I just used some scrap piece as a template. These are just one by four. But they will come so that they, they're flush, flush the outside of the subfascia on each side. There will be a, a collar tie across, tied into these beams slash bottom plates of the upper part. Plywood on the roof. I put a couple of small pieces just to show that they go down 
flush to the bottom of the pine fascia on each side and comes up even uh, to the framing on the upper part. On each side, there will be flashing, uh, an L flashing bent <clears throat> to go on the roof and come up so that the polycarbonate which is ribbed will be on there and go the full eight feet, uh, six feet in length as well as come across each gable end. With the coop being six feet deep it's going to require a setup. I'm going to make uh, this as a truss. There will be four of those. There will be four rafters on each side for these cross ties for each of uh, basically the stud, upper stud. Let's start with that. I'm going to start making these first. I used a te this template to mark out on two by fours. I'm assembling the upper truss rafter setup. There'll be four of them. So I used a just a pipe clamp or clamp to hold this one. They tend to jump around a lot when it's very light, so that helps it a lot. So that's what you have there. This one just going there, I'll nail that, and that'll be one out of four. <laughs> and I've cut the bottom ones. So I guess I'll cut this next. Interesting little tidbit, all of this material here is going to be from cutoffs, extra two by fours that I had left over, so I'm pretty excited about that. All right, upper rafters are all made, four of them. Truss, I guess it's a rafter truss, more a truss. So now uh, all, all the parts for the roof are cut, mostly. So I think I'm ready to start building the base and then go up and uh, see how these fit. Well, let's start the, uh, the base. The, uh, floor system, we'll say. So the, the floor is going to be exactly four feet by six feet. And I marked uh, two foot on centers for the floor joists. So the uh, perimeter joist, we'll call them, two by four, they're exactly six feet, both, both sides. The floor joists are 45 inches. I subtracted three inches to make it, uh, when you add the inch and a half on each side, we'll make it a full four feet. So I've cut these four by fours. I'm just building a, a, basically the table upside down. Uh, these are 21 and a half. So it'll be 18 inches um, to, to the bottom of the framing, essentially. So for those, these, these are pressure treated so that uh, anything near ground contact will be treated. Make sure to square this up. Very good. Verify that, yep. Verify it this way. 
Perfect. One down, three to go. That's a good height. I think I like that. I can just picture opening the door, using a hoe or something to scrape that uh, anything in there. Scrape it out. Okay. Okay. So the four foot width on this sheet is good. You just have to cut two feet off the end. Measure the, verify the length, six feet, okay. This works really good to mark, rather than go chase way over there <laughs> for my T-square. I mean, I could. There, cut that off. And I'll hang on to this cutoff piece, of course, in case uh, I do something else. Constructive. Now I'll just draw the, the uh, floor joists are two feet on center, so I'll measure two feet, four feet. So just those two marks, I'll use it. I will use a T-square for that. Okay, now we'll line that up. The plywood will act as a square, as a square. You can probably see the difference. This is a framing gun. This is a sheathing gun, quite a bit smaller. This shoots two inch galvanized ring shank nails. So I'm going to switch. I've gotten out of the habit of using anything pneumatic with air hoses. That's fine. That looks good. Pull this one over a little. Okay. I'll pin this corner. And I'll follow this along. Make sure it's good. So, well, let me just show you this. Sometimes plywood is off, but I, I think it's probably okay. So I'm using the plywood to square up the frame. Make sure the nails go in. You don't want them chickens trick tripping on the nail. Get a claw torn or something like that. That would be bad. Okay. Very nice. All right. I can just picture Kaya getting up here soon. It holds us. And look, moonwalk. You think? Moonwalk. Look at that. Chicken walk. <laughs> All right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this quick little video of the first, first video of Chicken Coop Monitor Barn 
style. Uh, I don't know how many, I am going to paint, I don't know how many videos there will be on this, but I'm going to paint everything ahead before I nail it together so that everything is perfect. That's what, what we want. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. I really appreciate you. Thank you.